the Weller WTBR 1000 soldering robot tutorial on fine adjustment of the soldering tip. So at the moment the head is in the working position so it's ready to solder and if you look up there you will in fact see the feedback of the, the position sensor of the actuator um, giving feedback to the software saying it is in position we are able to solder. Okay. What we have to understand from that sensor is that there is a there is a, a range of permissible positions um, where that light will remain on. Okay, so in fact, if we zoom in here, you will see that in fact, although we're in position, you can't tell so clearly from the video, but we are actually just off the board. Okay, and if we we zoom back out and we look at the actuator that actually stops on the on the rod of the small actuator you'll see it is actually making contact with that not contact with the board itself okay but the whole time this little sense the the, the feedback read switch is on so i want to run the simulation to show you what difference it makes in different positions in this simulation the head the entire head assembly is moving up and down by less than two and a half millimeters but in that entire range of movement you will see that little that little read switch indicating the orange light there indicating that it is in position the entire time now if we look a little bit closer you will see quite a bit of relative motion difference between the solder wire feeder and the tip. That is because as it comes down, the tip is getting stopped by the board and the wire effectively comes down lower. And you can also see that there by the actuator actually getting pushed up now as the head comes down onto the board. So it is important that you have that the same from joint to joint but on the other hand it is good that there is this um, bit of flexibility to allow for variances in the fixture um, and the parts being sold itself. 